Microsoft Teams Creating a Class Team In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a class team and add members. I'm in the desktop version of Teams. I've got Teams highlighted here and from this I can go to Join or Create Team. Then in this window, I can click on Create Team. When I click there, I've got several different options. We suggest that you use class if you're using your team with students. I will then give my class a name. It's a good idea to add the year to your class name so it's easy to reference. Then I've got the option to add my students and any fellow teachers. If I know my students, I can add their emails in now. If I'm not sure, I can skip this page. Likewise, I can add any fellow teachers that are also teaching this class. This might be specialist teachers if you're in a primary school. It might be co-teachers if you share a class, or it might be fellow teachers of your faculty in a high school or secondary school. Again, you can do this later if you're not sure at this stage. This will then create your class. You'll see here some things have been generated automatically. You've got a tab for class notebook if you're using class notebook with your students, a tab for assignments, a tab for grades and a tab for insights. And then you've got channels that you can create down here as well. Along the top, because we're in general, we've got a tab for posts, files and a plus sign where we can add extra tabs later. I'm going to go to these three ellipses next to my class name. And then I'm going to go to manage team. From here, I can see what members are already in my team. So I've got two owners, which are my teachers and then I've got one student. If I'd like to add students manually, I can click here and add more students or more teachers this way. If I go to the settings, I've also got the option to create a team code. This code will allow students to automatically join my team. So if I'm teaching my class, I might want to set up my team beforehand and then in my first lesson, generate a team code. I can also make this full screen. Then students can just enter the code and they automatically become a member. It's a good idea once all your students have joined to reset this code. That way students with the old code will no longer be able to join. This means that if a student has been a bit cheeky and passed the code on to someone else, they won't be able to join your team. You can also look at member permissions from the settings. So you might want to untick the option for members to delete their messages or edit their messages if this is an issue with your students. Back on the members page, one other thing that's interesting is this option to mute students. If you click here, that means students can't reply to messages. Just go back and show you each of these tabs again. So Class Notebook allows you to set up your Class Notebook. In the Assignments section, you'll be able to create new assignments. If you've created a marked assignment, these will show up in your grades. And Insights gives you an idea of which students are interacting with your class team. 